My name is Halima Nyekehe. I am a child speaker and a child advocate. I am here to discuss about child abuse and the African children. The menace of child abuse, the global pandemic, and the African children suffer the most form of abuse in the world. Every day, one out of ten African children is being molested out there and has no voice to speak out. From over two years ago, I took it upon myself to speak for the silent majority of the African children who are molested without getting justice. We need to stand against child abuse and molestation because every single child molested out there has lost a right to life, a right to education and a right to safety. Do you know a child who is being molested and abused has lost trust in the adults? They will be depressed and it will be difficult for them to reach their potentials. They are growing up to be traumatized. This is why I want all of us to come together and put an end to child abuse and molestation for the African children across the world. Imagine having to live with fear every single day of your life. Imagine being a child whose biggest fear is that he or she are safe in his immediate home, school, or in the community. Those fears put together made me write a book, and the title goes by Child Abuse and What You Need to Know. The book will serve as a guide for the child abuse effect and how the children can protect themselves against it. Therefore, I appeal and urge everyone seated here to go back to their various communities with a message of hope for the children across the world. Assure them safety, protection, and their right to speak up. Let's create a better place for the African and global children. Thank you and God bless you. Hello everyone here today. My name is Heli Monyekehe. I am a child speaker and a child advocate. I speak for the African children across the world who are getting molested and abused. So I speak for them. Thank you very much. So why did I want to introduce Halima in this session? Because what she's doing is for the welfare of health and well-being of our children. This session refers to that. She has already written a book. And her inspiration was because when she went with her father in and out every day to school, she would see poor African children with, in poverty, in, in sorrow <laughs> and distress. And she's already written a book, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So let us give her another big hand for being our future leader.